Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today, we're gonna go over the Shasta 1961 Air Flight reissue. It's a beautiful throwback, a tribute to the original. They have a ton of features that are going to uh, resemble what the original 1961 Air Flight looked like. This one is going to be in the Matador Red. I do also have it available in the Butternut Yellow and the Seafoam Green, but the red has been the most popular color. It's pretty tough to get our hands on. We do have one here, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features. Right up front here, you have a great storage area there. Wonderful storage. You can see you're going to have the checkerboard flooring. It's going to be continued uh, on the inside as well, but just beautiful flooring. And look at this. I love this beautiful look. White wall tires. You don't see those much anymore, but it, it really makes it pop beautiful on these trailers. And then in the back, again, huge pass through storage there. That's just, you know, just because it's a small coach doesn't mean you can't have a lot of storage. At about 19 foot and 2,700 pounds, easily towable, still has a ton of storage. I'll show you more when we go inside. I did have some people that had questions about the jacks. They are going to be fairly simple. Uh, they basically lock up underneath the coach. You just pull it out. It comes down. You hit this right here and your foot will go ahead and move in and out to drop down and support the coach. So it is pretty simple once you know how to do it, but they work great, help stabilize. And one of the last things I want to point out that I love is going to be right here, the iconic Shasta Air Flight wing that they, that they included on there. You have to have it. You know, again, if maybe your parents had one, maybe you had one, you remember camping as a, as a kid, great nostalgic feeling. You have to get one while they're still out. Let's go ahead and check out the inside. Welcome to the cute inside of the Shasta Airflight Reissue 1961. Hopefully it's bringing back a lot of nostalgia, something you've seen before. I did want to go ahead and show you the dinette. I've had a lot of questions about the dinette, how big of a bed it makes when it comes down. You can see it's nice and simple. It'll be on uh, this system right here, this pivot point table just unlocks from here pivots down then you just take the rear cushions and fill in so it does make a nice big bed very comfortable uh, and again that's going to be in the matador red up top here we have some great storage space in between you'll have a light fixture this is going to be a three-way light you can have your standard light as well as an edison bulb so it shows the filament that way it kind of looks like uh, the oil lanterns here's going to be your stereo you know they have integrated some new technology in here let me peel that off there for you just a protective cover uh, but here's going to be uh, all your volume controls you're also going to have two usb ports for charging and an auxiliary port that way if you have like an ipod you can plug it into the auxiliary port plug it into the usb let it charge while you're playing with Whatever music you would like and it tucks away nice and conveniently as we move into the kitchen we'll see here we have a ton of countertop space folks especially if you're in a 19 foot trailer this is excellent a ton of prep space I, I really love that about this coach of course you'll have a nice single bowl sink here get an arc on a faucet gives you a little bit more room and then over here you'll have your stainless steel three burner stovetop above that you'll get your stainless steel hood this does have light and fan great storage area here nice window brings in a lot of natural light and then on the other side another great storage area great place for canned goods chips um, you know marshmallows for s'mores because you know everyone loves those and then check that out folks 2700 pounds that's all this weighs nice and lightweight so it's easily towable now here is another huge storage compartment. This is, this is great, just very versatile space, ton of storage there. You have a sponge drawer here. This just folds down right there. Two excellent drawers right here as well. Now underneath, this is going to be your AC. So you'll have your AC right there, nice and easily controlled, couple vents. Your thermostat for your heat will be in the back. But to round out the kitchen, here's gonna be our microwave, nice and convenient right there. And then underneath is going to be a fuse box. So this is going to be for any kind of um, uh, maintenance or anything you have to do. If you have to check any fuses, they're right there. But Shasta did a great job tucking that away, uh, keeping with that nice retro look. Across the aisle way, you're going to have your fridge. It does have the mirror on it. Again, the ode to being retro. It's, it's really neat, that tribute there. Uh, but you get a ton of storage in here, great space. And then you'll have your freezer box there. Now this will be a three-way fridge, fr uh, fridge freezer combo. So you have those controls right up here, as well as you will have your temperature gauge on how cool you want it right there. 
One of the things I love about the 19 foot, you get extra storage. Check out this closet space. You have a hanging rod here, you have adjustable shelves, so that way you can adjust it to the length you want. And if you take both of those shelves out, you can fit you know, a really long jacket or a dress in there without having it crumple up, which is wonderful. And then next to that, you're going to have your restroom. Fully functional wet bath here. You have your hand shower, which is of course connected to the faucet, your shower pan down below, and then you will have your stool. Now, across from the bathroom, in the 19 foot again, we get a larger couch. There is a plug-in here, I forgot to mention. Uh, we have a plug-in on this side. There's also a plug-in up by the dinette, so you do have power on both beds. This will pull out um, into an extra bed, so you have another bed here, which is great. And then on top of that, the 19 footer is also gonna come with the bunk bed. So this just folds down. It is 250 pound capacity, so you can have someone sleep up there. But even if you don't, it is a great extra storage space. You can take this, uh, uh, cushion off and you get excellent storage up there or of course you can just tuck it away it'll lock in place right up here so it's just completely out of the way giving you uh, a lot better sitting room across this side here's a thermostat as I mentioned and then here is going to be um, your water pump water heater and tank level control Again, folks, this is the Shasta Air Flight 1961 reissue. It's one of the last ones out there in Matador Red, 19 foot, gorgeous. They just did a limited run, so when these are gone, they are gone. Definitely come in, take a look at it, get your hands on one today. If you have any questions, please give myself, Ian Baker, a call, or one of the other amazing sales consultants here at American RV. We'll help you out to the best of our ability and get you on your road to freedom.